In this video, we will talk about command line injection vulnerabilities. Let's start with an example. This is part of the code that I use for the first week's in class lab service. This function is called check. In check, the program will read the record according to the ID provided to this function. And then it uses function system to execute the command of cat followed by the files path in order to read the file and check if the file exists. This code is vulnerable to command line injection because of the function system. If we call check with a proper ID, such as Tiffany B, we will be able to call system to execute the command of cat record slash Tiffany B. However, if you abuse the string of ID, changing that, extending it with more bash commands, then when we call check and when check calls system, it will execute both commands. So it will actually execute cat record slash system B as well as cat secret. And if file secret is security sensitive, then the user who is calling this function will be able to abuse this function to access something out of his own permission. Now let's try this in the server. Suppose that the service is running in this directory and in the directory, there is a secret file. And for the service, it calls the check function and then the check function is going to read a file from records directory. Now let's compile the service. And then run the service as a server using TCP server. On the other panel, we're going to connect to the server. It will ask you to either check the participation or to exit. So we're going to abuse the check function. So now we're going to type a random string, which represents the user, followed by the evil command. And now we see that this service will output the content from file secret, which is Tiffany's secret. To defend against command line injection vulnerability, the best way is to avoid using function system since it is very security sensitive. If you really want to use system, then you need to be very careful making sure that the command passing to function system is not something that can be controlled by input. Instead of using system, you can also consider to use the exact family. This family contains many different kinds of functions depending on the arguments that you need. For example, ESCCL considers the program to be executed as well as the argument that will be fed to the program. EXECLE considers not only the binary along with the argument, but also the environment variables. All this command will guarantee that only one execution will be happened. In this case, we will be able to avoid the situation that user feed in another command followed by the legitimate command. And for more information in terms of the EXCC family, I recommend to read the manual page from Linux. Then let's go back to our original example. To change the code to be immune to command line injection, we can substitute system with EXCCL. In EXCCL, the first argument represents the command that will be executed. Followed by that are the arguments that are feeding to the command. Pay attention that the first argument will always be the same as the command, and the function finishes with argument now. Now we have a code that are more secure, which is immune to command line injection. But the question is, is the code secure now? 
I will leave you to think about it, and I will see you in the next video, which is directory traversal.